Last night was crazy. Probably some of the, the roughest driving that I've ever done, but we made it with our new uh, caramel macchiato themed uh, Land Cruiser. Yeah, so we got it painted. They took the whole truck apart pretty much to paint it. And when you have a truck as finicky as this one, it's pretty hard to put back together. Driving back to the village in the rain, in the dark, we were finding a million things wrong with it. But uh, right now, I just want to show you what we picked up. Uh, we went down into a pretty big water hole pit, mud bog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, scared the living crap out of me. We just dropped in and there were just cracks and awful sounds. And I thought that the whole truck just split in half. But I think I found what made that big noise. So I want to show that to you. We also need to check the fluid levels because I think the brakes might not be working. Yeah, so actually, since we're in here, problem number one is driver's side door doesn't open. Found that out last night while I was standing in the rain trying to fix it this wiper blade that wasn't working. I got it fixed. But then I tried to get back in the truck. I couldn't open the door. Uh, with some persuading with my elbow. I actually did open it, but then as we're driving down the trail in the dark, in the rain, the door starts to s swing open. Yeah. And so I'm trying to drive in the rain, in the dark, down the trails, through the mud bog, and the door is just flying open, so I'm holding on to it while changing gears with the other hand. Yeah, we got it shut again. I had to stop and I played with it some. I got it shut, and now it, it seriously, it does not open. We still got fluid, it's leaking underneath the reservoir. I'm having to apply the brake pedal a lot further before it's responding. Come, come look at this. Look under the truck, it's like, oh, okay, a, 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 a log. And I just thought, yeah, okay, I'll just grab this log and just tap it some. It'll fall down, and then I go down here. Mongo, Karimu Kamara. Bahu Kamara, Yunusa Kamara, avec Yunusa Kamara, avec Arafan Karimu Kamara. So, Sengej, go talking Kasakata Sura, Bafala Pele Kasera Pengejki, Buremo Motnaking Ejt, Sotapata Ura, Buremo Pokotara Pujusut, 
We got the log out. I had to try to fix the door, but we're missing very little important parts. So then I was like, well, why don't I just start the truck and test the brakes, and nothing happened. Currently, what we have is two dead batteries. I did some stuff without you the other night. Uh, we jumped it yesterday. I was on the phone with Mr. David for quite some time, figuring out what the problem is. So we're thinking, these glow plugs here, basically they're for diesel engines, and they're not supposed to run all the time at the paint shop when they did some wiring and rewiring that they probably shouldn't have been doing. They wired them up so that those glow plugs are running all the time. At least that's what we think. What I'm about to do, excuse me children, we're gonna jump start my truck again with David's truck. And then I took some wire, made contact for him. Not that you can tell what the heck's going on, but I unplugged or took off the wire that would normally be coming from the battery to start the glow plugs. Cause you can't really, you shouldn't start the truck without starting the glow plugs. It's a necessary part of a diesel engine. It just kind of gets it hot, I think. I don't really know. I unplugged that. So we're going, to, basically we're gonna hot wire or jump start the glow plugs so that we can start the car because we're gonna leave it unplugged. As long as it's plugged in, that wire down there that you can't see, as long as it is plugged in, it's gonna be drawing current and it's going to kill the batteries. So we're, what we did is put um, some electric tape over the connection on that so it's just sitting down there doing nothing and yeah, we're just gonna hot wire it or jump it manually with some wires. But first we have to jump start the battery of this truck. I forgot to mention that Mr. David's truck has no brakes. So, Emery, stay out of the way. <laughs> now we're gonna pick up the cable. So you're probably wondering, how do you jump start a car? I'll show you. Here we've got the good battery parked close with the bad battery. You take the red cables, you're going to start, you always start with the car that has the dead battery. Red to red. You run that over to the good battery. Positive. It's a continuous line. You don't jump back and forth. So we've already gone from here to here. So now we're going to go from here, the good battery, on the negative, over to the bad battery. Now, here's the trick. And you'll see people do this different ways. Some people will put the, the negative right onto the, the terminal. I've always been taught that you shouldn't do that. You should secure this to a metal part of the, the engine block or something like that. So let me show you where we're going to put it. Maybe you'll see some sparks. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So right now it's charging. Stand by. Let's try to start it. Yeah! We better do the glow plugs. The glow plugs? <laughs> hey, are you filming this or what? Yeah, I am. Alright, it works. We're gonna put Mr. David's truck away. First, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Then we're gonna turn it off. 
and then we're gonna repeat the exercise just with the cable because that's gonna be the way that I start the car every time I need to use it until Mr. David can um, fix it. But that's not gonna be for um, over a month. So I need to get acquainted with starting the truck uh, with wires. I forgot one more thing. I might have, since I'm showing you how to jump start a car, I may as well show you how to finish. So it's working now. You can't just grab all the cables and just pull them off. Probably there's people out there to do, but there's a correct way to do it. And it's really simple to understand. You basically unplug it in the order, or the reverse order of which you set it all up. So you start with the negative on the battery that you were jumping. So we'll unplug that. Then you come over here, unplug that negative, and then onto the positive on the good battery. And then finally, boom! This car is running completely by itself. You can put this one back. Sheer muscle. Always buy cars that work well. Yes, and was. never lock the keys in the car. Lock yourself out. Alright, thank you, Emery.